Good morning, good morning. So today I am um, gonna bring to you the idea of gratefulness. And there have been times in my life, pardon me, where I, well, let's just start with today. Today I woke up in a funk. I had some things that didn't go the way that I wanted them to. And because of that, I felt like, I don't know, just disappointed. Like that's what my journaling time was all about. I was disappointed. And I even remember kind of going, Lord, I'm reading this book and it's not filling me spiritually. Like there's moments where I have aha moments, but it's not a, it's not a biblically based or spiritual book. So I was like, I'm going to you first. I want to do what I said I was going to do and finish every book that I pick up, even if it gets a little dull or dry or whatever in the moment. <coughs> I've been sick, so it's been... Um, an interesting journey for me these last few weeks since Christmas I've been sick. So it's been consistently two weeks that I've been under weather, but now I'm I'm feeling on the upswing. Nonetheless, disappointment. So I woke up with disappointment, complaining to God. He can handle it. So I've learned that it's okay. A lot of people complain to God, but they don't actually listen for his answers. I do my best to complain and then say, okay, but what do you have to say? And then I spend time really trying to listen for his voice. And um, I've been trying to read the prayer of Jabez because I believe that God wants me to move in a certain direction um, and build an audience for those who are really seeking his guidance and things. And I know he's brought me through a ton. And I want to share that with the world and what he's brought me through because maybe that'll encourage other people and where God is taking them. So to handle this disappointment after reading the prayer of Jabez and my frustration with this book, even though it's it's frustrating, but it's not frustrating. It's just kind of like I didn't feel like it was filling me. Um, but there have been some really good moments in it. So I picked the book back up and God is good, right? He can use anything. He can make donkeys talk. So um, he mentioned something and I was like, that's what I need. And this is the line it says, this is in Wired for Wealth by Dr. Alec Trevetti. It says, Money comes in gratitude. That's it. Gratitude is the gateway to the income that you desire. Anything other than gratitude activates the law of repulsion. If you do not find gratitude, it will hold you back. So he's talking directly with money, but that's true in everything with gratitude, right? If we don't find gratitude for even the difficulties in life, we'll be held back. So the growth mentality, right, is learning from everything. You get stuck when you just look at the problem. But if you can say, God, there is something I'm supposed to be learning from this. What is it? And thank you for that difficulty because now I know whatever it is that you need to learn. And in this, this morning, Lord, thank you that I was struggling with this appointment because you're going to show me how to overcome that. Gratitude is the key. I'm thankful for the difficulties. And you should be too. And if you go back to James 1, it talks about how that we have to go through the struggles. We have to go through the difficulties. The quote isn't coming to me right now, but it's in there. <laughs> that those are the things that develop our character and our perseverance. And we will not be complete until we know how to walk through those things. You literally cannot be the person God designed you to be unless you walk through difficulty. Christ walked through the most horrific things. He's our example. You can sit on that for a little bit. All right. God bless you all. Walk in gratitude in whatever place God has you today. And have a beautiful and blessed day.